Welcome to the concise NetHack video about fountains and sinks in NetHack version 3.6.6. The concise NetHack videos show you what you need to know about specific NetHack areas without wasting your time. Fountains and sinks have many uses and I'm not going to cover all of them in this video. I'll demonstrate my strategy for increasing attributes and maybe getting a wish from fountains and sinks. So what you need to know about fountains, some fountains are magic fountains. You can't tell the difference by looking at them. I don't know the percentage, but I guess it's about 1 in 5 or 1 in 7 or so that are magic. There are two things you can do with a fountain. You can quaff from it, which means drink from it, or you can dip items into it. If you're going to quaff, if the fountain is a magic fountain and your luck is 4 or higher, all of your attributes are increased as if you quaffed a blessed potion of gainability. That means strength, dexterity, constitution, intelligence, wisdom, and charisma are all increased by one. So I like magic fountains. But after you get that effect, the magic fountain turns into a regular non-magic fountain. If you quaff from a non-magic fountain, several bad things can happen, such as being surrounded by water moccasins or having items in your inventory randomly cursed. But there's also a chance that you'll free a water demon who might give you a wish. The other thing besides quaffing that you can do in a fountain is you can dip items into it. If you dip something into a fountain, you can get all the same effects as if you had drunk from a fountain, except for one, which means you can get all the bad effects or you can also get a wish. The one effect that you won't have from dipping that you can get from quaffing is, had them, is having items in your inventory randomly cursed. So you want to dip instead of quaff when you have that chance. What are sinks good for? Well, if you drop a ring down it, you'll lose your ring, but it, you'll also get a message that can help identify the ring. I don't do this. I find another way to identify my rings because I don't like losing rings. If you kick a sink, you'll eventually get a black pudding and maybe some fuku bai, but you'll eventually get a ring as well. One ring per sink. And you can dig down on a sink with your pickaxe and turn it into a non-magic fountain. So when I am ready to uh, increase my stats and maybe get a wish from fountains, the things I do are, I explore down to dungeon level 19. The reason for that is dungeon level 19 is the lowest level where you can get a wish from a fountain. I raise my luck to at least four. Typically, I run it all the way up. I get a luck stone and I sacrifice it at an altar because every time you see a four-leaf clover sacrificing at an altar, it means your luck has increased by one. So, Raise your luck. You need to be able to deal with Fukubai, water moccasins, and water nymphs. They're not too bad if you're strong enough. Uh, you'll need ways to uncurse your cursed items, such as with the blessed scroll of remove curse. I also want to plan what I'm going to wish for if I get a wish. Let's do that now. If I look at my inventory, I've already got my gauntlets of power. I don't have my silver dragon scale mail, which I usually get. I'll show you how I get that later. I've got a cloak of protection. I don't have magic resistance. I'm going to get a cloak of magic resistance if I get a wish. Uh, you'll also want to pick up a piece of junk and put it in inventory slot D. I'll explain why in a minute. All right, let's dive in and do some quaffing here. I'm on a level. I've got two fountains, and I also have a sink, conveniently. Um, I need to get some junk. Here's a dart. I'll use that as my junk. I'm going to use Alt-A to adjust it from inventory slot N to D. Alt-A. You don't... Uh, and we'll put it in D. You don't have to put it in D. It's simpler for me if I do. Um, you'll want to know about Control-O. If you press O, you can see all the levels that have interesting things on them, like fountains. After we've quaffed from all these fountains, I mean, we've got, some, we've got one on level, or some on level one, there's one on level four, some on 14. After we've quaffed from the fountains, uh, we want to see no fountains, probably no sinks as well, uh, above uh, level 20, 19 and above. All right, let's start. I'm going to go stand on a fountain. Um, since there's a chance of getting items cursed, I want to drop those items that it would be really bad if I cursed. For me, I'm going to drop my unicorn horn, my bag of holding, and my 
luck stone. You don't want to leave your luck stone dropped for very often because your luck can decrease without it. I always keep those three items in the same inventory slot so it's easy for me to drop them all. So I'm going to drop my uh, bag. I'm going to uh, drop my unicorn horn and drop my luck stone. You can drop them right on the fountain. One of the bad effects, well, or maybe it's a good effect from quaffing in a fountain, is you might create pools all over in this room. And if you, so if you don't drop items like these, they might get cursed. If you do drop them in the room, they might end up at the bottom of the pool. That's bad. I drop them right on the fountain. All right. Uh, I start off, since this might be a uh, magic fountain, the only way to tell if it is is to, to quaff from it. So let's do that. Q, drink from the fountain, yes. As soon as you get a message other than the cool drop refreshes you, you know that this is not a magic fountain. This one's just not. I got the tepid water is tasteless, which means there were no effects. There's no point in quaffing anymore since I, um, uh, because it's not magic. So I'm just going to my, dip my junk into it. I'm going to say Alt-D. What do you want to dip? D, dip it into the fountain. Yes, it rusts. I don't care if it's junk. junk. I just uh, keep repeating that. I'll dip D, yes. I'll dip D, yes. I'll dip D, yes. Um, items can get cursed and uncursed and other things. I'm going to ignore that now. Dip D, yes. Got a water nymph, no problem. Uh, she left me a potion. Back here, I'll dip D, yes. Eventually, this uh, fountain is going to dry up. Okay, I got water moccasins, but I can deal with them. And one of them left me a potion, one of them left me a scroll. I like it. I'm going to pick those up now. I'll stash that. No, I won't, because uh, I'm not carrying my bag. <laughs> okay, I'll dip D, yes. D, yes. There we got. I got pools all over the place. I'm glad I didn't leave anything in the room that I didn't want at the bottom of a pool. Getting lots of... Uh, uh, dips out of that one. Okay, I'm done with this fountain. It's dried up. One more fountain. I'm going to pick up all my stuff and then we'll go deal with the sink. Okay, drop D, B, B, D, U, D, X. Drop my stuff. Verify that they're there. Now I'm going to quaff to see if it's magic. Q. Ha! Ah, look at that. I got a magic fountain. Makes me feel great. So that's like a restore potion. I feel tough, so that's my um, anyways, we're going to increase all my stats. Tough, that's probably constitution, right? Uh, charismatic, smart, wise, agile, that's dexterity. Um, didn't increase my strength, or maybe I just missed it. Okay, the wisp of vapor escaping the fountain means that uh, this fountain is no longer magic. So no more quaffing. Now I'm going to dip my junk in it. I'll dip D, yes. I'll dip D, yes. Okay, it's dried up. Great. Pick up my stuff. Don't forget that. And now let's go check out the sink. Uh, hungry, but look at that. I got lunch right there with the Etten. Okay. Eat the Etten and go to the sink. Step carefully, not to fall in the water. I'm going to start out by kicking the sink because I want to get a ring. Control D that way. Oh, look at that. Uh, I got a ring the very first kick. That's unusual. Pick up the ring. Uh, use my pickaxe. Apply P for pickaxe. Down. Your pipes break. Water spurts out. And now I have a fountain instead of a sink. Shift X. And I have a regular non-magic fountain. I'm going to drop my items. I don't want cursed. D U B D X. And I've got my items there. Let's, uh, it's non-magic. There's no, no need to quaff. I'll dip, dip my junk. I'll dip D, yes. I'll dip D, yes. I'll dip D, yes. Dip D, yes. All right. I did not get a wish out of the two fountains and sink that I have here. That's okay. Wishes are rare. They get more and more likely as you go up. So your greatest chance of getting a wish is on level one. But still, the odds are low. Typically, I get a wish maybe one out of every two or three games that I uh, use this strategy, but it's worth the effort to do it, if for no other reason than the uh, magic fountains increase my stats. Um, 
pick up my stuff. Don't want to leave that there. If I had items cursed, uh, and frankly, I'm going to get some items cursed as I move my way all the way up from level 19 up to level 1, repeating the strategy, some of my items are going to be cursed. I typically, unless they're really bad and I need to uncurse them, I wait till I've gotten all the way and finished all of the fountains on these levels. Then I read one blessed scroll of remove curse and I'm done. Uh, that's all I want to cover for now. I hope you've enjoyed this concise net, net hack video about my fountain and sink strategy. Thank you for watching.